Hey guys, I'm Matsu here, and today we're doing an updated guide on how to change your name in Fortnite 2021. It is currently Season 5, Chapter 2, and today, finally, I'm going to show you how to change your name in Fortnite for PC users, Xbox users, and PS4 users. There will be two methods to do this. First method is easy and simple. Everyone will be able to do it, and the second method is a bit more tricky, but by carefully following this tutorial, you'll be able to do it no problem. So let's go. Before we get into it, I'd like you guys to please open up your item shop and use creator code Amber. Whether you're buying a battle pass or a skin, it would honestly mean a world to me and it does support me a lot. Thank you for listening to these wise words and now let's get right into the video. Alrighty, so I said there's gonna be two methods. First off, we're going to start with method number one. Pretty straight and simple. Let's get onto the desktop. So now that we're in the desktop, first things first, what I'm gonna do is show you guys my current name, which is Code Ember, as you can see in the gameplay you're watching right now. In case somebody says it's fake and whatnot, I usually like to prove that in the beginning. So as you guys can see, Code Ember. And that's about to change. I can close this Epic Game Launcher right now. And next thing we're going to do is head out into our internet browser. So whatever you're using, Google Chrome, Opera, Firefox, doesn't matter. Just make sure to open your internet browser and type in Epic Games in the Google tab. We're going to press enter. First thing we'll see is Epic Games Store. It's going to be epicgames.com, the URL of the web page. You want to click there and now we'll get this page by the way hitman 3 came out poggies you want to go ahead and on the top right corner click on sign in right here next up you want to sign in with whatever your preferable method is i always sign in with epic games so that's what i'm gonna go for i'm just gonna go ahead and type in my email address so i'm gonna skip this part next thing you gotta do after you click on login button you gotta do the capture challenge so appear adding up to five is going to be this and there we go we've logged in successfully the way you'll know if you logged in is if uh, your name is actually on the top right where the sign in button was so it's not like sign in anymore it's actually like your name which mine is code amber so next up you want to hover over with your mouse over your name and click on account now that we're here things are getting pretty simple so on the account info tab it's going to be the first thing you see you're going to see display name and email address you want to click on this blue little pen uh on the display name portion as you can see also it says please note if you changed your epic game display name you cannot change it again for two weeks after you confirm this change meaning you simply cannot change your name for two weeks after you change your name right now. So this is not permanent. It only lasts two weeks, so do not worry. So what you want to do is click on this blue pen right here. And uh, it's going to say your current display name. What you want to do is type in your new display name right here in this block. And you're going to retype your uh, display name as it is right here just to confirm it next up you want to check this little box saying i understand i cannot change my display name again for two weeks after this change and click on confirm so it appears that amitubu is taken so i'm just gonna go with shadow slayer ame as you can see i clicked on confirm and it says display name updated so this is my new display name shadow slayer ame that's pretty interesting if this method worked for you you can go ahead and close your internet browser and simply check in your epic games uh, launcher if your name is still the same after you change your name on the website what you want to do is sign out and sign back in as simple as that also forgot to mention make sure you have access to your email because most likely you have 2fa enabled so you're gonna have to head into your email and type in the code that is sent by epic games after you enter the code just simply click on continue and our name should be updated as you can see it does say shadow slayer ame right now before we head into the game and see for ourselves let's talk about the second method the second method also applies to console users since name changes can cost money on the console and most people tend to not know that so they just make a mistake now if you made an honest mistake you could go ahead and apply this method I currently do not have Xbox or PS4 to show you how to change your Fortnite name on screen, but basically the way console name change works 
for both Xbox and PS4 is simply changing your gamer tag. But as I've seen on my previous videos, most of you do not have the money or the credit card to spend on such thing, and you guys mostly simply made a mistake when it comes to name changing and didn't know that it will cost money next time. Since I believe you can only change your gamer tag like once and then afterwards you have to pay for it. But also let's not forget this method applies to PC users as well. So the way we're going to do this is I'm going to leave the link down in the description below for Fortnite support since some people have difficulties finding it. And I suppose you figured it out by now, we'll have to ask for staff assistance regarding this issue because there's no other way we can do this on our own. Don't get tricked, there are no hacks, no cheats, no scripts for these kinds of things. And if there's an issue that we can't solve ourselves, the only people we can count on is Fortnite support. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to get to the support page. That's why we've left our internet browser open earlier. If you're too lazy, however, just look for a link down in the description. And we are back here where we updated our name. There's going to be this little button saying need help. It's going to be those blue letters highlighted and it's going to bring us to this page full of questions. I generally advise you to search through these questions and see if you can find your issue. If you cannot, however, this is where the method to comes in. We're going to scroll all the way down until we see this blue button saying contact us. We're going to click there. It's going to bring us to this support request page. By the default, this first tab will be filled with your uh, current in-game name. After that, it's going to be contact email tab and this is where you want to type in the email it doesn't have to be an email of your current fortnite account it can just be an email that you have access to so they could message you there platform this is simply a platform where you play the game on so if you're a switch player you're gonna select switch if you're xbox one you're gonna select xbox one uh i'm a pc player so i'm just gonna go with the pc here you can see the response rate usually the english should be the fastest as you can see korean takes 11 hours chinese takes six hours surprisingly but as far as i know english should be the fastest so if you're not an english speaker do not worry here you might find the language you can speak and i think it's better that way so you can explain them the issue in full depth basically here you're going to describe your problem now i cannot really know exactly what your problem is maybe you're getting some weird error by trying to change your name and you cannot so you can just like uh, describe it here same thing goes with the console users if you're getting some weird error, you got tricked or something like that and changing your name and now you have to pay, uh, please just describe the situation, be honest. I think honesty is the most important and I'm sure they'll help you out. Now, once you describe your problem, you're basically going to click on submit and just make sure to check the contact email that you've supplied here and they should come up with the response in, as you can see here, usually take six hours. And now the last bit, which is uh, a promised one, and that be me finally getting into the game and showing you guys if this actually worked for me. And the final moment, let's head into battle royale mode and <laughs> we're about to find out what's up news Ooh, soccer skins are back and there we go shadow slayer ame on duty and there you guys have it i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it helped you out as far as i know there are no other ways to do this as of right now but those two i mentioned anyways as you guys can see the boy is active again so if you watched this far please like this video it will boost that algorithm and help me out a lot and you're a big broski you're a big um, sister, I guess, if you subscribe. Much love and peace out.